Oprah Winfrey's net worth is estimated to be a staggering $3.5 billion as of May 2023. Through her incredible journey from a challenging childhood to becoming one of the wealthiest individuals globally, Oprah's financial success is a testament to her talent, determination, and entrepreneurial ventures. Her self-made net worth solidifies her status as one of the most influential figures in the entertainment industry. Between her popular talk show, multiple best-selling books, and booming business ventures, Oprah Winfrey has become one of the richest women in the world. But before we dive in, welcome to Billionaire Lifestyle, the channel where we delve into the opulent lives of the world's wealthiest individuals. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on our latest billionaire lifestyle content. Real Estate Portfolio with an empire built on media success, Oprah's real estate portfolio mirrors her status as one of the world's most influential figures. 1. The Montecito Estate Nestled in the picturesque hills of Montecito, California, Oprah's primary residence is a sprawling, 42-acre estate known for its Mediterranean-inspired architecture and stunning landscaping. The estate features multiple structures, including a grand main house, goose houses, and even a tea house. The interior of the mansion boasts luxurious amenities, including a state-of-the-art home theater, a gourmet kitchen, and a library with an extensive collection of books. The estimated worth of Oprah's Montecito estate is a staggering $90 million. 2. The Promised Land Estate Oprah's other significant property is her Promised Land Estate in Montecito, adjacent to her primary residence. This estate spans over 23 acres and features equestrian facilities, orchards, and even a man-made lake. The Promised Land Estate is a testament to Oprah's love for nature and tranquility. The estimated value of this serene retreat is an impressive $65 million. 3. Chicago Condo While Oprah spends much of her time in California, she also owns a luxurious condominium in the heart of Chicago. This urban oasis offers stunning views of the city skyline and Lake Michigan. The estimated worth of Oprah's Chicago condo is around $10 million, showcasing her diverse real estate investments. Cars 1. Tesla Model S Known for her commitment to sustainability, Oprah owns a sleek Tesla Model S, a high-performance electric car that perfectly aligns with her advocacy for eco-friendly living. The Tesla Model S, with its cutting-edge technology and zero-emission design, is a testament to Oprah's dedication to making environmentally conscious choices. The starting price for this luxury electric sedan is around $80,000. 2. Bentley Continental GTC for those moments when she craves a more classic and elegant driving experience, Oprah turns to her Bentley Continental GTC. This convertible masterpiece combines performance and sophistication in a way that befits Oprah's luxurious lifestyle. With a starting price exceeding $200,000, the Bentley Continental GTC is a symbol of refinement and style. 3. Land Rover Range Rover When it comes to versatility and rugged luxury, Oprah relies on her Land Rover Range Rover. Whether navigating city streets or exploring the countryside, this premium SUV provides the comfort and performance she demands. The Range Rover, with its iconic design and off-road capabilities, comes with a price tag of $90,000. Other things Oprah splurges her billions on include. 1. Art collection that is beyond impressive. It's no secret that Oprah Winfrey has expensive taste, and her artwork is definitely no exception. In 2015, the star auctioned off 500 lots of English, French, and continental furniture, decorative arts, paintings, prints, drawings, and more, according to Artnet. Then in 2016, Oprah sold a single painting to a collector for a whopping $150 million. Per Bloomberg, it was one of the largest private art transactions of 2016. The painting, titled Portrait of Adele Blockbauer, was created in 1912 by artist Gustav Klimt. Oprah purchased it back in 2006 for only $87.9 million. Two years beforehand, she reportedly even let the Museum of Modern Art display it for visitors. By the time she sold it, the painting's value had increased by a whopping 71%. The first painting in Klimt's collection, which Oprah did not own, was sold for $135 million in 2006, which at that point was the most amount of money ever exchanged in art history. Oprah made $15 million more off of hers since it's such a classic portrait, or maybe it didn't hurt that Oprah was the one selling it. 2. Dozens of people to help get her photo ready, Oprah Winfrey always looks so well put together, but she admits it takes an entire team to accomplish the feat I normally have, for a magazine cover, 28 people working to help me look good, she once admitted on her talk show. There's someone to constantly straighten her clothes, another to fetch the perfect pair of shoes, a person to make sure not a hair is out of place, 
and even, somebody who if a collar falls down, that's their job to make sure that the collar stands up, Oprah continued. And it's not just during a photo shoot that Oprah has people helping her look her best. 3. Oprah enjoys having a spa day, in the Himalayas, like many of us who love to spoil ourselves, Oprah Winfrey enjoys spending a day at the spa. However, her experience happens to be a bit different than the rest of ours. She likes to hop aboard her private plane to spend the day at a special spa in the Himalayas. The Ananda Spa, located on the scenic side of a mountain in India, is the country's very first destination spa. Between yoga classes with beautiful landscapes to 80 different body and beauty treatments, it's the perfect place to spot some pretty famous people. Everyone from Winfrey to Brad Pitt has been seen there, according to L. 4. Offered billions of dollars to run for president, when Oprah Winfrey uttered the inspiring words, a new day is on the horizon, during a powerful speech at the 2018 Golden Globe Awards, it had people everywhere encouraging her to run for president in 2020. While Oprah was hesitant to take it seriously, people were ready to throw money at her to do it. I had people, wealthy, billionaires, calling me up and saying, I can get you a billion dollars. I can run your campaign, she told people. That many people saying something made me think, am I at least supposed to look at the question? Though her opportunity to run in 2020 has come and gone, it still has us all wondering if we'll be seeing Oprah pulling to be president in a later election year. After all, she has made it her life's mission to help those around her as much as she can, and what better role is there to do so? 5. Oprah hated waiting at the airport so she bought a private jet, traveling takes up a lot of time. You have to arrive at the airport hours early, wait in line, and sometimes deal with the worst part, layovers. After years of travel, and an altercation with a fan at a terminal, Oprah Winfrey was tired of it. I went to the phone and called my lawyer and I said, I'm going to do it, I'm going to get the plane, she explained to the Hollywood Reporter. This is going to be my last time waiting four hours in the Chicago O'Hare airport. And so, in 1991, she waved goodbye to flying commercially and wrote a $25 million check, in full, because Oprah admitted she hates dealing with bills, for her very first private jet. Ever since, she's been traveling in style. Oprah told Edward Ininfel, editor-in-chief of British Vogue, that it was the best luxury she'd ever invested in, and we'd have to agree. Because it means one minute you're in New York, and then the next minute you say, no, Edward, I think I'll fly to London. I'll do the shoot there. That's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for more exclusive insights into the billionaire lifestyle, and until next time, live large.